uh, in order for you to take a bottle of water really nice because it's very water. hot here at the time of the year. Uh, the passport will be kept uh, on board at the reception until the end of the cruise. You will get them at the end of the cruise. Very important, read the daily program and it has all the information. So we have two English speaking groups and two French speaking groups. So on your, uh, on your, I was going to say your credit card. On your ship card, you have a sticker, a color sticker. So you know in which color group you belong to. Two main dining rooms on board. We have the main dining room on deck two and we have the buffet style dining on deck six. Your old opening hours are indicated in the daily program. On deck six, there is a booking that is needed for dinner time as we don't have a seating capacity to accommodate all the passengers at once. On the main lounge, you have different activities organized there and that's usually the meeting point for all the expeditions. We'll ask you, okay, blue daily if you have mail. It is strictly prohibited to smoke inside of your cabin. You can watch movies, listen to music, uh, watch the camera of the ship. You can have some information about the different promotion. You can have a look on the, what you can see on the bridge. Look, the internet connection, the Wi-Fi is working all around the vessel. If you have the only the pool is heated, so you can use the pool anytime you like. There's always a light bill thrown for you to embark on a cruise. I hope to hell I never have to do this for real. Ever, 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 ever. Faites passer la sangle à travers la petite boucle à droite du gilet. Pass it through the little loop on the right side of the light jacket. We just have to pass under our lifeboat and then we can go back to the cabin. It's our lifeboat. We said I never want to have to see it go off the ship. I just follow the little yellow line. Flexibility all the time is actually 8.30 but it'll certainly be around that time. Now, there may be no prepared paths, tracks, barriers, steep, uneven ground. You're going into some pretty remote parts of the world. There are more accidents in this part of the world than anywhere else on the planet when it comes to expedition voyages. You don't drink water, you get ashore, and you just start the kilo bar. And it's that simple. You have to remain hydrated. If you don't want to do one of our planned activities, that's fine. We are going to travel through remote parts of Melanesia. And Melanesian society has some pretty strict do's and don'ts. Okay? It's very, very important to understand. Because we're traveling to experience the culture. It's going to be hot, okay? You're in the tropical monsoon season. Reality, Papua New Guinea, what does it have? It has a wet season and a not so wet season. If you choose not to come ashore for that cultural performance, you won't be coming ashore until that's finished and we start to operate Zodiacs. So there you can exchange cash for cash. This is currently what it is on the web. He was talking, they actually Clay masks. So, they haven't been put into a kiln. decoration. And they haven't been put something over the water. It's a typical toilet. I, I would not encourage you to use it. My balance isn't that good. I think the best one we've seen is this one. This was in Vanuatu, Guinea, and you've got over 600 islands there and just over uh, 276,000 people. Living. Well, here's my handy dandy snorkel equipment to use for the trip. Not that I am really going to snorkel. I had an experience one time where there was a shark swimming underneath me and uh, a little leery since then, but they give you all the snorkel equipment to use for the whole journey.